You are correct. I I oh, actually Jesus, you guys are both on crack. Listen, without a offensive performance and a pick six, the 49ers would have lost that game. The 49ers have been carried by their offense, which is crazy the last few weeks. Guys, the 49ers are a team that is a wounded duck right now. I don't know what's going on on their defense, but their defense is not very good, Hoffy. They beat the they beat the Cardinals by 16 points. Okay, because they scored a late second touchdown to pad those stats. That's it. Listen, you are saying you are proud that they beat the Arizona Cardinals by 16. The Cardinals are playing for a first overall pick. Oh, we beat them by 16. You should have beat them by 40. The 49ers gave up, what was it, nine points every quarter in that game, Hoffie. To the Cardinals. To the Arizona Cardinals. What do you mean they gave up nine points in every quarter? They gave up seven in the first, six in the second, third in the third, and 13 in the fourth. On, on average, I was averaging. Oh, know. okay. They, they rested on their, you know, they, they, they took the fourth quarter off. Yeah, I'm sure they did. With their starters in there and scored a, la a last second touchdown to really pad those stats. 35 to 16. I mean, took it off, baby. Took it off. They had it in the bag at that point and, you know, played prevent. I hate when people play prevent defense because, you know, whether it's at the end of the game or not, but I mean, you go in to prevent defense just to, to make them dink and dunk the whole time. And, you know, yep. basically. Why don't you just say here, we're going to let you, you know, basically you're saying here, we're going to let you score. We're just going to make you take five minutes to do it. It's like just when you have the, you know, keep the pedal to the metal, keep your foot on their throat. I hate when teams go into prevent and just, you know, what the hell? So three things of that, Hoffy. One, as a high school coach, I don't even have a prevent defense in my playbook because prevent defense prevents you from winning the game. Number two. The Browns played prevents defense versus the Bears and should have lost that game last night. If yep. if uh, uh, Mooney would have caught it, it was in both of his hands, in his belly, and he decided to drop it. Like they would have won that game. But and then number three, any team that's playing a prevent does not know how to close out a game. Just keep doing what you're doing. Wayne G says, if the NFL is rigged, why would they leave? clues about it we are living in the national treasure movie <laughs> listen uh wayne g you are a, a movie guy isn't it called easter eggs like let's leave little easter eggs around and see if people can like put it together that's that 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 is what they're doing they're making a nice conversation like hey let me color this super bowl logo uh gold and purple See if they can figure it out. Let me color this, this one red and green. See if they can figure it out. And then once they think we can figure it out, they mix it up on us. <laughs> you were going to say something, Huff? I mean, gold and purple could be the Vikings and the Chargers. Except for neither of them are going to make the playoffs. Just saying. I mean, just because it's purple and gold doesn't mean it's, you know, it, we've had that colors you know, this whole year, haven't we? Well, so, yeah, right. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the Ravens and the Niners. Well, if you heck, it could be the Rams and and the Ravens. If you put your clues together, twenty thirteen, it was purple and gold, and you know, whatever. Kyle Reed is in the chat. What's up, Kyle? There's a new name. What's up, Kyle? Be sure to hit that like button. He says, with the Ravens looking like the number one seed in the AFC, how does that affect teams like KC and Miami in the playoffs? Whew, Hoffy, I don't know, man. Because to me, I think the Chiefs, no matter where they go, they can go on the road to Baltimore. They can play at home. It doesn't matter, right? The Kansas City Chiefs are going to get right, right? Last week was their kind of, of a tune-up get-right game. They have a very easy schedule cupcake, as you like to call, moving forward. They're going to get right. Now, a team like the Miami Dolphins, they predicate themselves on a high-flying, fast, 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 speed, speed, speed type of game. So if they were to go to Baltimore in the rain or the snow and the slush or whatever, right? Yeah. I don't. Th 
I don't think that affects them either be, just because they do have a good running game still, right? The Miami Dolphins offense, passing offense, gets overshadows how good their running game actually is with Raheem Mostert in there and uh, and, and uh, Acne and um, uh, 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 trying to think of the other guy's name that they pay, I picked up. They, they, they had like a third running back that is really, really, really good. But to be totally honest, I think if the Ravens would have to travel somewhere to like Kansas City, somewhere to like my my Miami, that would hurt them worse because the Ravens play really, really well at home. So with the Ravens getting the number one seed, I don't think it affects the Chiefs. I don't want to think it affects Miami. The only thing I think it affects are the Ravens because I think they play a, just a little bit better at home. But with a style of offense that they're current with their current currently playing, it doesn't matter where the Ravens play either. So with the running down the field. What are your thoughts on that, Hoffy? I agree. I think um, you know, the Chiefs have the X factor in, in Mahomes, Kelsey, the fact that they've been there, done that. Um, I do think that it would be difficult. I, I think the Ravens uh as the one seed is is key for them because again because of the chiefs um but i think the ravens could go to miami i think you know they can go they can go anywhere um i would be hesitant to want to uh have buffalo come into town as well um just with the way they're playing um you know they're they're a good nasty team just like the 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 ravens are so that that style of game comes you know to me comes down to a coin flip uh especially if the bills continue to to play the way they are playing um but I think that the Ravens really can can play home or play away and win the game. Um, the the only game that I would question really would be if they had to go on the road to uh, Kansas City. That's just any team having to go to Kansas City. It's a tough 